thing works um, by a sample of mixed cells coming up here um, into the sample chamber. The cells travel up these teeny tiny tubes. So the cells come through in single file. Right here, you get a whole bunch of lasers. I'll just demonstrate the lasers. That um, read the cells as they're coming through a single file. If a cell that you have identified as one you want, um, that is in a particular droplet, those cells are deflected either left or right and into a bunch of tubes that I haven't inserted yet, but they will um, uh, drop into there as pure populations. This machine works um, by a sample of mixed cells coming up here. Um, into the sample chamber. This gets pressurised and then when I hit run the cells travel up these teeny tiny tubes into this what's called a flow cell and in here there's uh, two chambers. On the inside you've got the cells that you've sucked up through your sample chamber and on the outside you've got uh, saline, salt water that runs through at a slightly faster rate than your sample and that causes a, a drag on the inner chamber. So the cells come through in single file. So the reason you get um, these droplets formed is because there is a little crystal in here called piezo crystal and that vibrates at a very high frequency so um, it can, uh, in, on this particular setting with this teeny tiny orifice which is 70 microns in diameter. We run it at fairly high pressure at 87, no not 87, at 70 um, psi. And because it's um, at such high pressure we can form a lot of droplets and the, we form droplets at 87,000 times a second, so 87 kilohertz. And uh, yeah, so... So 87,000 droplets a second? Just look at my hands. And here is a demonstration of a digitised um, static image of those droplets as they are being formed and then as they eventually break off that little grey bar that's flashing around that's, that's supposed to show us the break off. So we get this image because we have a camera here, a strobe camera that also strokes at 87,000 times a second. Give us this static image here. And as the cells are passing through this flow cell, right here, you've got a whole bunch of lasers. I'll just demonstrate the lasers. That um, read the cells as they're coming through a single file. And then as the cells are passing through, they, they exit through here. In the meantime, if a cell that you have identified as one you want um, that is in a particular droplet, well that droplet will receive an electrical charge, either a positive or a negative. And then as it passes through these plates here, which have got a, a charge on them, when I switch it on, those cells are deflected either left or right and into a bunch of tubes that I haven't inserted yet but they will um, uh, drop into there as pure populations. The small machine that I usually use is out of action today, so I get to use the big fancy machine. So these are my little tubes of cells, and each little tube has about a million cells in it. Right, so let's measure our first sample. Okay, don't push the button with the exclamation mark on it. <laughs> it's even got an exclamation mark on it. That's spinning! So this is what the data readout looks like from the flow cytometer. Each little dot that shows up in these boxes represents a single cell. 
the relative position of the dots in the boxes is what, give, is what gives us information. So this machine it has five different lasers on it that it uses to read the, lab, the fluorescent labels put on, that we put on the cells. Um, it has a few different filters, so if I can read a whole lot of different labels all at once, let's look at the lasers. So this is the laser in the machine, and the cells are dropping through that path. Ooh, cells. <laughs> So this laser is detecting each cell one at a time and giving a reading to the machine.